Sailor Moon is a Japanese anime and manga series created by Naoko Takeuchi. The franchise made its debut in 1991 with the manga, and the anime adaptation followed in 1992. The series became immensely popular both in Japan and internationally, particularly among the target demographic of young girls, but it also gained a significant fan base across genders and age groups. Before we begin, let's set some context. A millennium ago, the moon harbored a flourishing civilization under the benevolent rule of Queen Serenity. This era of peace was disturbed by the evil Queen Beryl, who sought to conquer the moon using the formidable Negaforce. Despite the destruction of her world, Queen Serenity clung to hope, relying on the power of the Imperium Silver Crystal and the Crescent Moon Wand. In a desperate move, she preserved the Moon Princess and the Moon's children by sending them to Earth's future, erasing their memories. Simultaneously, Queen Beryl and her dark forces were banished to Earth. Now, Luna, Queen Serenity's advisor, must unite the Sailor Scouts to thwart Queen Beryl's renewed threat. Usagi Tsukino, a clumsy and crybaby 14-year-old, discovers a mistreated cat with a crescent moon symbol on its head. Later at school, she learns about the mysterious crime fighter Sailor V and the escalating activities of the villainous Queen Beryl and her followers. While visiting her friend Naru's mother's jewelry store, Usagi encounters a Yuma named Morga draining energy from customers. Luna, the talking cat she rescued earlier, reveals Usagi's destiny as a guardian and gives her the power to transform into Sailor Moon. With the help of Tuxedo Mask, also called Mamoru Chiba, Sailor Moon defeats Morga, saving her friend Naru and others. The next day, as her friends discuss a shared dream of Sailor Moon's heroics, a tired Usagi dismisses the topic, concealing her newfound superhero identity. In the Dark Kingdom, Jedi updates Queen Beryl on his research into the Japanese education system. Usagi frets over her test results, causing Luna's frustration with her lack of dedication to the Guardian mission. Luna, seeking leads on the princess, communicates through the Sailor V game and senses an unusual aura around Ami Mizuno, a brilliant student at Usagi's school. Ami tops the national mock exam, sparking disapproval and rumors among her peers. Usagi befriends Ami after Luna follows her, and they discover Ami's excellence in the Sailor V game. Ami drops a brainwashing disc, which Luna investigates, revealing the Dark Kingdom's involvement. The Crystal Seminar, where Ami studies, is exposed as the source of the brainwashing program. Sailor Moon, with Luna's guidance, interrupts the scheme, revealing Ami as Sailor Mercury. Together, they defeat the Yuma Garabin, and Sailor Mercury joins Sailor Moon as a new ally, bringing both relief and humor to their partnership. Later, Queen Beryl urges Jadeite to find the Silver Crystal and devises a new plan to gather energy for Queen Metallia, the true leader of the Dark Kingdom. Meanwhile, Usagi, Ami, and Naru investigate mysterious disappearances of buses near a temple where Jadeite, disguised as Jed, uses enchanted charms to put people in a trance. Rain Hino, a shrine maiden, suspects Jed's involvement and discovers a transformation pen with the symbol of Mars. Usagi, Luna, and Rei confront Jed, leading to a dimensional vortex where Rei transforms into Sailor Mars and defeats Jedite's Yuma, Kigan. Ami's unwitting prayer helps keep the closing black hole open, allowing Tuxedo Mask to rescue the victims. As Sailor Moon suspects Sailor Mars might be in love with Tuxedo Mask, a new chapter unfolds in their quest against the Dark Kingdom. Frustrated by Jadeite's repeated failures, Queen Beryl gives him a final chance to defeat the Sailor Guardians, warning of eternal sleep for failure. Jadeite challenges the Guardians to a duel at Haneda Airport, creating an illusion over Tokyo and threatening destruction. Also, a chance encounter with Mamoru leaves Usagi in tears. At the airport, Jadeite's trap unfolds as evil cops attack the Guardians. Sailor Mercury's analysis reveals the clay nature of their foes. Sailor Mars turns them to ashes, and Jadeite, discovering their identities, manipulates jets against them. Tuxedo Mask intervenes, sacrificing himself to save Sailor Moon. After Jadeite's defeat, Queen Beryl puts him to eternal sleep and appoints Nephrite as the new commander. Meanwhile, Tuxedo Mask survives, thanking the concerned Sailor Guardians. In the Dark Kingdom, Nephrite criticizes Jadeite's energy gathering methods and proposes a new plan to target a person at the peak of their life's energy. Zoasite mocks the plan, but Nephrite convinces Queen Beryl to entrust him with the mission. Using astrology, Nephrite selects tennis player Rui Sionji as his target. Disguised as Masato Senjuin, 
He influences Rui with a possessed racket, turning her aggressive and intimidating, worrying her friend Naru. Luna learns about the Dark Kingdom's energy-stealing motives and shares it with Usagi, Ami, and Rei. During a tennis match, Rui's energy peaks, summoning the Yuma Tasuni. Usagi transforms into Sailor Moon, but Tasuni turns her into a tennis ball. Tuxedo Mask intervenes, and Sailor Moon defeats Tasuni with Moon Tiara action. Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars arrive in time to witness the victory. Nephrite consults the stars and learns Sailor Moon's weakness is Tuxedo Mask. Meanwhile, Usagi receives a love letter from Tuxedo Mask, inviting her to meet at a mall. Nephrite, disguised as Tuxedo Mask, lures Naru to the mall, suspecting her to be Sailor Moon. Usagi is eager to meet Tuxedo Mask and also heads to the mall. Nephrite confronts Naru, draining her energy, but Sailor Moon arrives just in time to challenge him. The real Tuxedo Mask appears, and they escape a monster he creates. In a trap, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask are saved by Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars. Despite failing his mission, Nephrite escapes punishment due to the energy he collected from Naru. Usagi, intrigued by the heightened security in the city, learns that Princess D from the Kingdom of Diamonds will unveil a legendary treasure. As the Dark Kingdom suspects the Silver Crystal's presence, Usagi, disguised as a princess, attends the embassy reception. Nephrite targets Princess D's family heirloom, suspecting it could be the Silver Crystal. At the reception, Naru is possessed by a shadow and manipulated by Nephrite to steal the treasure. Usagi, with Tuxedo Mask's unexpected assistance, tries to stop them. Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury intervene, revealing their identities to Tuxedo Mask. After a battle, they thwart Nephrite's plans, and Luna wonders if Princess D could be the one they seek. Princess D awakens, and the legendary secret treasure turns out to be a statue of herself. Talk about narcissism! Nephrite, frustrated by the outcome, realizes he wasted time and energy. The Sailor Guardians enjoy the rest of the reception, and Tuxedo Mask shares a kiss with Usagi, leaving her with a familiar feeling from the past. Usagi learns from Naru that she's fallen for Senjuin, who is actually Nephrite of the Dark Kingdom. Despite Luna and her friends advising Usagi to reveal Nephrite's true identity to Naru, Usagi struggles to do so. In the Dark Kingdom, Nephrite aims to obtain the Silver Crystal by using Naru's energy. Zoasite, frustrated with Nephrite, seeks Kunsite's advice. Meanwhile, Usagi seeks guidance from Motoki and Mamoru, ultimately deciding to confront Naru. She clumsily explains the truth to Naru, who receives a call from Senjuin. Naru rushes to meet him at the park, unknowingly becoming a pawn in Nephrite's plan to locate the Silver Crystal. Sailor Moon intervenes, revealing Nephrite's true nature, but Naru's selfless act to protect him surprises everyone. Nephrite, touched by Naru's love, decides to spare her and departs. Naru grapples with her feelings for Senjuin, torn between his apparent kindness and the revelation of his true identity. Meanwhile, Nephrite, sensing the Black Crystal's unusual reaction to Naru, decides to investigate further. Zoasite plots to seize the crystal, setting up a trap for Nephrite. Naru, troubled by Senjuin's visit, reaches out to Usagi for advice, unaware of her dual identity as Sailor Moon. Nephrite attempts to extract information from Naru about Sailor Moon, but ends up revealing his internal conflict and newfound understanding of love. As Zoasite kidnaps Naru, Nephrite chooses to protect her and sacrifices himself to save his love. The ship didn't sail for too long. Queen Beryl, fueled by the energy collected, awakens Queen Metallia temporarily and is determined to locate the Silver Crystal for her full resurrection. She reveals that the Seven Great Yuma, once the Dark Kingdom's strongest warriors, were sealed into fragments of the Silver Crystal and banished to Earth. These Yuma, now reincarnated as humans with lost memories, hold the key to obtaining the Silver Crystal. Meanwhile, Usagi encounters a new transfer student, Makoto Kino, renowned for her fighting skills. Queen Beryl instructs Zoasite to use the Dark Crystal to locate the Rainbow Crystal shards within humans, leading to confrontations with the Yuma. The Sailor Guardians meet Makoto, who becomes Sailor Jupiter and demonstrates her extraordinary strength. Zoasite extracts a Rainbow Crystal from a human, resulting in Sailor Moon using the Moonstick to cleanse the corrupted being. Luna reveals to Usagi that she must lead the team to find the princess, and the moonstick symbolizes her role as the leader. Queen Beryl, fueled by rage and frustration after witnessing Nephrite's demise, instructs Zoasite to draw out Tuxedo Mask and retrieve the two rainbow crystals he possesses. 
Kunzite offers to separate Tuxedo Mask from the Sailor Guardians, and Queen Barrel approves. Meanwhile, a fake Sailor Moon appears, performing heroic acts which confuses the public and worries Luna. The real Sailor Guardians confront the imposter who is zoociting disguise, but Kunzite traps them in a barrier. Amid the chaos, a mysterious girl, Sailor Venus, intervenes, breaking the barrier and revealing her identity. Queen Barrel orders a retreat, leaving Sailor Moon wondering about Tuxedo Mask's fate. Luna and Artemis confirm Sailor Venus' identity and hint at the Moon Princess, signaling a crucial turning point in their quest. The introduction of the new Sailor Guardian, Minako Aino, also known as Sailor Venus, adds a layer of mystery to the team. Meanwhile, Queen Barrel forbids Zoocyte from killing Tuxedo Mask, so instead, he challenges him to a duel for the Rainbow Crystals. As Mamoru heads towards the Star Tower, Usagi, intrigued by his behavior, follows him. Zoocyte, manipulating the situation, guides them to the tower where a tense confrontation unfolds. Mamoru and Zoocyte place their crystals for the duel, but Kunzite intervenes, escalating the tension. The conflict takes a perilous turn when Zoocyte defies Queen Barrel's orders and attempts to harm Tuxedo Mask and Usagi. In a moment of despair, Usagi transforms into Sailor Moon, and as Zoocyte inflicts a critical wound on Mamoru, her tears reveal the Sailor Crystal, unveiling her identity as the Moon Crystal. Sailor Moon's true identity as Princess Serenity is revealed, triggering memories of a tragic past with Tuxedo Mask. Zoocyte attacks to seize the Silver Crystal, prompting Princess Serenity to use the Moonstick and recount the Silver Millennium's history as star-crossed lovers. As Sailor Moon, she repels Zoocyte, but Tuxedo Mask's life fades. Kunsite and Zoocyte return to the Dark Kingdom, where Zoocyte faces Queen Beryl's wrath and is executed. Queen Beryl also tries to control the Tuxedo Mask with dark energy. Meanwhile, Sailor Moon and others discover their past lives in a two-dimensional rift, embracing the roles as Sailor Senshi. Empowered by the Silver Crystal, Sailor Moon defeats Kunzite, returning them to Earth. Zoocyte's loss and impending challenges strengthen Sailor Moon's resolve to combat the resurging darkness. Concerned for Tuxedo Mask's well-being, Usagi listens to the Orgel's melody, prompting Miniko to suggest a hairstyle change. They visit a salon unknowingly targeted by Kariko Tokoyama's DNA scanner, aimed at identifying Sailor Moon. Mistakenly, Kariko identifies Miniko as Sailor Moon. The situation escalates when Kariko, revealed as a Yuma, demands the Silver Crystal from Miniko. Sailor Moon faces the Yuma, but is heartbroken as Tuxedo Mask, manipulated by the Dark Kingdom, orders an attack. Sailor Venus intervenes, Tuxedo Mask retreats, and in the Dark Kingdom, Andy Mion's allegiance is altered by Queen Beryl. Usagi, determined to protect her loved ones, vows to bring Tuxedo Mask back with the power of her love. Under the guidance of Miniko and Artemis, the Sailor Guardians discover an entrance to the Dark Kingdom beneath the Game Center crown. As they traverse the tunnels, they confront Kunzite, who threatens to banish them to the multidimensional chaos world. In a vortex, they are transported to the ruins of the Moon Kingdom, where they meet the incarnation of the Moon Goddess Selene, who reveals herself as Queen Serenity, the mother of Princess Serenity, Usagi. Luna and Artemis learn of their duty and are sent to Earth in cold sleep. Back in the present, the Sailor Guardians awaken with their memories fully restored. Kunzite reappears, leading to a fierce battle where Sailor Moon, fueled by newfound determination and the power of the Silver Crystal, defeats Kunzite. As the Sailor Guardians prepare to storm the Dark Kingdom, the stage is set for a final confrontation. As natural disasters escalate, the Sailor Guardians gather for a perilous mission to the Dark Kingdom. In a poignant farewell, Usagi cooks for her family and the girls share their hopes. Guided by Artemis and Luna, they teleport to the Arctic Circle's entrance. Queen Beryl deploys the formidable DD girls to halt them. The Yuma employ illusions, resulting in the tragic deaths of Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Venus. Distraught, Sailor Moon faces the Dark Kingdom alone. Mars, Mercury, and Venus sacrifice themselves, urging Usagi to persevere. Encouraged by the spirits of her fallen friends, Sailor Moon presses forward unaware of Tuxedo Mask's malevolent transformation. In the climactic battle, Sailor Moon faces the corrupted Tuxedo Mask, Endymion, in the Dark Kingdom. Despite her efforts to heal him, Endymion ruthlessly attacks, resulting in a tragic battle. Queen Beryl revels in her triumph as Endymion inflicts pain on Sailor Moon, seemingly killing her. However, Sailor Moon's perseverance triggers memories in Endymion, restoring his true self. 
Queen Beryl merges with the malevolent forest queen Metallia, becoming Super Beryl. Princess Serenity confronts Super Beryl in a formidable showdown, summoning the power of the Silver Crystal with the spirits of her fallen friends. To save the world, she sacrifices herself, and the Silver Crystal's energy erases the series events, returning Usagi to an ordinary life. The story ends with Usagi and her friends seemingly leading normal lives, their memories of being Sailor Senshi erased. Two months after the final battle against the Dark Kingdom, Sailor Moon, now leading a normal life with erased memories of being a Sailor Guardian, encounters mysterious transfer students Ale and An who are aliens in disguise. Ale poses as Seijuro Ginga and gains attention at school, particularly from Usagi and Naru. Ale and Anne, seeking life energy, release a Cardian to drain human energy. Luna and Artemis, hesitant to disrupt the Sailor Guardian's peaceful lives, witness the chaos caused by the Cardian and reluctantly restore Usagi's memories. Usagi transforms into Sailor Moon and, with Luna's help, defeats the Cardian, marking the end of her brief return to ordinary existence. In a dark spaceship above Tokyo, Rubius and the Negamoon sisters, seeking the Imperium Silver Crystal, travel to the past in search of someone. Meanwhile, Serena and Darian enjoy a romantic boat ride until a girl named Chibiusa with pink hair falls from the sky, demanding the Silver Crystal. Serena refuses, but upon returning home, she discovers Chibiusa has brainwashed her family using a Luna Sphere to make them believe that they are cousins. When attempting to punish Shibuyusa, a crescent moon mark appears on her forehead, emitting a beam into the sky. Rubius sends Cohen to capture Chibiusa, leading to a confrontation where Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask intervene, and Rubius plans to destroy Crystal Tokyo in the future, while Serena begins to soften towards Chibiusa. One morning, Usagi meets Mamoru during her jog, and they learn Chibiusa is missing. Finding her at a playground, Mamoru has a vision of a crystal city upon touching Chibiusa. On their way home, Usagi and Mamoru argue about Chibiusa, with Usagi assuming Mamoru prefers her. At home, the Tsukino family discovers they've never met Mamoru, leading to a chaotic situation. Chibiusa hypnotizes them, and Mamoru, haunted by visions, abruptly ends his relationship with Usagi. Later, Mamoru rejects Usagi's apology, claiming he no longer loves her. As Usagi vows to become stronger, dark forces plan to prevent Crystal Tokyo's rise. Chibiusa suspects Amy possesses the Imperium Silver Crystal and attempts to steal it. Meanwhile, Amy is offered a scholarship to study medicine in Germany and contemplates leaving her friends behind. Meanwhile, Chibiusa spends the night at Amy's to investigate but discovers she doesn't have the crystal. A new threat emerges as Birdie summons the ice-themed droid, Frosty, to control a crystal point at the Bob Floyd ice cream parlor. Amy ultimately decides to stay for now and helps the Sailor Scouts. With Amy's new attack, Shine Aqua Illusion, they defeat Frosty and protect the Crystal Point. As Wise Man conveys the Black Moon Clan's struggles in the future to Rubius, the Spectre Sisters are deployed to eliminate Chibiusa and eradicate the present Sailor Senshi. Chibiusa, hurt by Usagi's comments, runs away, inadvertently alerting the Spectre Sisters to her location. Luna P and Luna attempt to shield Chibiusa, but Luna gets gravely injured. Luna warns the Sailor Senshi, who confronts the Spectre Sisters in a fierce battle. Rubius intervenes, targeting Chibiusa, but Tuxedo Mask's arrival disrupts his plans, leading to a strategic retreat. Chibiusa, recognizing the Senshi's protective intent, forms a newfound appreciation, while Wise Man discerns the connection between Sailor Moon and Neo Queen Serenity on Nemesis. Frustrated with the slow invasion progress, Wise Man pushes Rubius to accelerate plans. Rubius assigns Cohen to find Chibiusa at Rey's temple. Cohen confronts Chibiusa, injuring Chad. Sailor Mars intervenes, revealing herself and battling Cohen fiercely. Tuxedo Mask helps Chibiusa escape, and Sailor Mars defeats Cohen with Mars Celestial Fire Surround. Rubius gives Cohen a Nega Bomb to destroy the Sailor Scouts in the temple. Sailor Venus and Sailor Jupiter neutralize the bomb, leading to Cohen's desperate rampage. Despite Sailor Jupiter's attack, Sailor Mars believes in Cohen's goodness. Expressing a desire to rid herself of evil, Cohen is healed by Sailor Moon's Moon Crystal healing activation. Choosing a new path, she opens a cosmetic shop, leaving her destructive past behind, and Chad recognizes her transformation. Usagi loses a chess match to Ami, prompting Chibiusa to challenge her. Meanwhile, the Black Moon Clan debates Cohen's transformation into a human. Berthier targets the chess tower's crystal point, facing Ami in a chess match. 
Ami as Sailor Mercury counters Berthier's dark water corruption, leading to a confrontation. Berthier brainwashes the receptionist to enter the World Chess Tournament, setting the stage for a final match against Ami. Berthier traps the Sailor Senshi in a deadly chess game, but Tuxedo Mask intervenes. Pets and Calaveras abandon Berthier, but Cohen arrives, convincing Berthier to seize her destructive plan. Sailor Moon transforms Berthier into a human, and the episode concludes with Cohen and Berthier playing chess as Luna, Ami, and Usagi observe. Pets and Calaveras, driven by resentment, abduct their transformed sisters Cohen and Berthier. Despite Pets wielding enhanced power from a magical stick provided by Rubius, the Sailor Guardians unite to thwart their malicious plans. Rubius revealing his betrayal transforms the stick into a black hole, attempting to erase the Spectre Sisters and Sailor Senshi. However, the combined strength of the Senshi, guided by Tuxedo Mask, prevails, averting the catastrophic outcome. Meanwhile, Chibiusa, observing from a distance, uncovers the true identities of the Sailor Guardians and learns that Usagi possesses the coveted Silver Crystal. The tale concludes with the reformed Spectre Sisters embracing a new cooperative venture, opening a shop in the Jubin shopping district. Facing expulsion from Prince Diamond, Rubius has 24 hours to achieve victories by capturing Chibiusa, destroying the Sailor Scouts, and conquering a crystal point. Meanwhile, Chibiusa, unable to accept Serena as Sailor Moon, steals the Imperium Silver Crystal to return to the future, but is attacked by Rubius. The Sailor Scouts intervene, revealing their identities to Chibiusa, who remains resistant and seeks refuge at Darien's apartment. Despite the scouts' attempts, Chibiusa eludes them and opens a portal to the future. However, Rubius returns, capturing Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Venus. Sailor Moon arrives too late, witnessing Rubius imprison her comrades, leaving the fate of the Sailor Scouts uncertain. Usagi faces an impossible choice, surrender the Silver Crystal and Chibiusa or witness her friend's demise. As Rubius reveals his captives, Esmerode scolds him for not seizing the chance to eliminate Sailor Moon earlier. Meanwhile, Mamoru attempts to console Chibiusa, who is grappling with guilt. Determined to save her friends, Usagi sets out alone, initiating a plan involving Luna and Artemis. However, the plan falters, leading to Usagi and Chibiusa's abduction. On Rubius's spaceship, Sailor Moon confronts the imprisoned Sailor Guardians, and a fierce battle ensues. Chibiusa discovers the source of Rubius's power, weakening him and triggering the spaceship's destruction. The Sailor Senshi teleports to safety, leaving Rubius to face his demise as the ship explodes. Chibiusa finds herself ensnared in a dream pursued by Prince Diamond's Grim Man. Despite internal discord among Diamond, Sapphire, Esmeralda, and Wiseman about strategy, Luna P, the Luna Sphere, guides Sailor Moon and the others into Chibiusa's dream to confront the Grim Man. Inside, they battle the Grim Man, who proves formidable. Chibiusa, seemingly unaware of her identity, expresses concern for her trapped mother in the Crystal Palace. Luna and Artemis implore Sailor Moon to persist in the fight. In a decisive move, Sailor Moon saves Chibiusa and defeats the Grim Man. The dream culminates as they enter the Crystal Palace, witnessing Chibiusa's mother before awakening in the present, having shared a significant dream adventure. Esmeralda devises a sinister plan to destroy Crystal Tokyo using Sapphire's dark power wedges, aiming to saturate Tokyo's vulnerable points with dark energy to open the dark gate. Prince Diamond approves, driven by his growing connection with Esmeralda. As Esmerode rushes to execute the plan, Amy, Ray, Lita, and Mina visit a cake shop, unwittingly the first target. Amidst indulgence, both Serena and Esmerode gorge on cakes until Esmerode places a dark wedge, summoning Marzipan, a droid. The Sailor Scouts with Tuxedo Mask confront Marzipan, discovering her weakness to water. They defeat her, destroy the dark wedge, and face Esmerode, whose maniacal laughter echoes as she vanishes, leaving behind a thwarted plot. Serena's desire to reunite with Darien leads her to a bracelet-making class, unaware that the shop is a vulnerable spot for the Black Moon clan. Esmerode exploits this by placing a dark power wedge and summoning Regalia, a droid. As students unknowingly create love bracelets infused with dark energy, Serena falls asleep and experiences a nightmare similar to Darien's, revealing the threat to their future. Chibiusa, Luna, and Artemis intervene, discovering the malevolent influence of the bracelets. Transforming into Sailor Moon, the Sailor Scouts face Regalia, who uses evil rings to sow discord. Tuxedo Mask joins the fight, emphasizing unity. 
<laughs> Together, they defeat Regalia, prompting Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon to reconcile, sealing their victory with a kiss and strengthening their resolve to protect both the present and the future. Our beloved couple is finally back! Chibiusa falls ill, prompting Luna and Artemis to introduce the Sailor Senshi to Melissa. Meanwhile, Emerald sends droids Doom and Gloom to spread dark energy. Doom and Gloom attack and Melissa shields Chibiusa, activating her power and breaking the spell. Enraged, Chibiusa defeats Doom and Gloom with her powers. Despite Wiseman and Diamond's interest in Chibiusa, Tuxedo Mask intervenes and Sailor Moon destroys the droids. Prince Diamond changes plans, recalling Emerald to the future. With the threat averted, Chibiusa decides to travel to the future to save her mother and the sailor Senshi along with Darian agreed to accompany her. Chibiusa activates the time key, leading Sailor Moon, the Sailor Scouts, Tuxedo Mask, Luna, and Artemis into the future through Sailor Pluto's guarded time warp. Meanwhile, Prince Diamond instructs Esmerode to capture Chibiusa and Sailor Moon. Esmerode, using her power, separates the group into different time zones within the time warp. Chibiusa faces a droid named Genie of the Time Warp who manipulates time and counters their attacks. Chibiusa's Crescent Moon activates, aiding in a distraction. The Sailor Scouts capitalize on the moment, launching the Sailor Planet attack to defeat Genie. As they progress through the Time Warp, they arrive in a devastated Crystal Tokyo, setting the stage for the challenges ahead. In Crystal Tokyo's future, the Sailor Senshi and Tuxedo Mask meet King Endymion, the future Tuxedo Mask, who leads them to the Crystal Palace. Meanwhile, the Black Moon Clan, led by Prince Demond, monitors their movements. Esmerode, jealous of Demond's interest in Sailor Moon, attempts to sabotage their escape. Demond kidnaps Sailor Moon, revealing his plan to control time with the Silver Crystal. Tuxedo Mask intervenes, but Esmerode's secret attack hampers their escape. Saphir confronts Esmerode, warning her of the consequences. As tension rises, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask's fate hangs in the balance between the power struggles within the Black Moon clan. At the Crystal Palace, the Sailor Guardians await Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask's return. Neo Queen Serenity remains encased and attempts to use Sailor Moon's Silver Crystal to awaken her fail. Chibiusa, influenced by Wise Man, leaves with her mother's crystal. Saphir and Esmerode discuss the unstable black crystal energy, and Saphir expresses distrust in Wise Man. Esmerode, angered, plans to destroy the Sailor Senshi. In a confrontation, Wise Man offers Esmerode power, transforming her into a dragon. The Sailor Senshi engaged the dragon, and with Tuxedo Mask's help, Sailor Moon defeats Esmerode. As Esmerode fades, Wise Man anticipates the demise of Saphir and Demand. At the Crystal Palace, the Sailor Guardians and Tuxedo Mask search for the missing Chibiusa, who has fallen under Wise Man's influence. Manipulating Chibiusa's memories of perceived neglect, Wise Man transforms her into Black Lady, aging her in the process. Wise Man introduces Black Lady to Prince Demand, solidifying their alliance. Saphir, wary of Wise Man, warns Demand but is dismissed. Sailor Pluto informs the remaining Senshi about Chibiusa's altered state and her return to the past. In Tokyo, Black Lady and Demond unleash dark energy using the evil Black Crystal. Luna P alerts the Sailor Senshi, who confronts Black Lady. However, Wise Man reinforces Black Lady's belief that no one loves her, preventing Sailor Moon from helping her. Ikuko Tsukino, under Wicked Lady's influence, has forgotten about Chibiusa but continues her routine. Wise Man unveils his sinister plans, revealing allegiance to the Doom Phantom and deceiving Prince Diamond. Sapphire overhears and attempts to sabotage the Dark Crystal, getting injured in the process. The reformed Negamoon sisters find him and nurse him back to health. Sapphire, experiencing the kindness of Earth, decides to warn Diamond about Wiseman. The Negamoon sisters, aware of their power loss after Sailor Moon's healing, inform Serena. Black Lady attacks Sapphire, but the Sailor Scouts intervene. Despite Sapphire's revelation, Wise Man fatally strikes him, and Diamond mourns Sapphire's death as Prisma senses the loss. Inside the Dark Crystal, Prince Diamond confronts Wise Man for betraying him and causing Sapphire's death. The Sailor Scouts transformed enter the crystal to thwart Wise Man's plans. Sailor Moon faces Diamond, convincing him of Wise Man's deceit. When Wise Man attempts to manipulate Diamond, the latter rejects him, leading to a fierce battle. Diamond sacrifices himself to save Sailor Moon, defeating Wise Man in the process. However, Wise Man reassembles, attempting illusions to deceive Sailor Moon. Tuxedo Mask intervenes, disrupting Wise Man's illusions. Together, they head to the Dark Gate atop the Dark Crystal, encountering Black Lady. 
The fate of Earth hangs in the balance as they prepare to confront this powerful adversary. As the Black Gate's power intensifies, Death Phantom, channeled through Black Lady, threatens world destruction. Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask try to reach Black Lady who attacks them under Death Phantom's influence. The Sailor Guardians reason with Black Lady, revealing Sailor Moon's transformation into Neo Queen Serenity. Neo Queen Serenity, using the Silver Crystal, breaks through dark energy, awakening Chibiusa's memories. Black Lady transforms back into Chibiusa. Despite their efforts, the Dark Gate opens and Neo Queen Serenity prepares to use the Silver Crystal to stop Death Phantom. Chibiusa discovers her own Silver Crystal within, combining power with Neo Queen Serenity to defeat Death Phantom and save the world. Grateful for her friend's support and lessons learned, Chibiusa returns to her time. It was honestly so impressive how she went from a spoiled little brat to one of the more mature characters in the series. Rei has a disturbing vision of Tokyo turning to stone, followed by a destructive blast that annihilates everything, including the Sailor Guardians. The next day, the girls gather at Hikawa Shrine to study, but Rei is preoccupied with her ominous vision. Professor Tomo and Kaolinite work on obtaining three talismans hidden within pure heart crystals to summon the Holy Grail. Troubled by her vision, Rei fails an English test and faces an attack by the heart snatcher Makuji. Two mysterious Sailor Guardian figures appear, retrieve Rei's heart crystal, and vanish, leaving the Sailor Guardians puzzled about their new enigmatic foes. In Dr. Tomo's lab, he discusses the Death Buster's purpose and sends a daemon egg into the city. Meanwhile, Usagi has a nightmare about retiring as Sailor Moon and visits Mamoru, leading to an encounter with stray cats and a girl caring for them. Meanwhile, a diamond egg embeds into a cat puzzle, releasing Nakanaru. Usagi decides to help the girl and her cats, but her friends offer excuses. Nakanaru attacks, deflecting Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter's moves. Usagi's attempt to transform fails and Akanaru gathers the Heart Crystal. Two mysterious figures observe and return the Heart Crystal, revitalizing Akanaru. Despite their non-interference, Tuxedo Mask and Usagi's love transforms her, granting her new powers. Sailor Moon uses the Moon Spiral Heart Attack to defeat Nakanaru, and the girls decide to bring the cats to an animal shelter. At the arcade, Usagi and Minako encounter Haruka and Michiru from Mugen Academy. Mistaking Haruka for a boy, Minako is enamored, and the girls witness a diamond attack. Haruka and Michiru transform into Sailor Uranus and Neptune, aiding Sailor Moon and Venus. After defeating the diamond, Sailor Uranus gives the impure heart crystal to Sailor Moon. The next day, the girls learn Haruka's true gender, shocking Minako. Rei and Mikado playfully scold Minako for her assumption. Amara and Michelle aim to find three pure hearts before Heart Snatchers. Usagi discovers Michelle's talents in violin and art, aspiring to play the violin for Darian. However, her attempt fails, leading to a restaurant outing where Michelle gives her concert tickets. During the performance, a diamond named Octave attacks, stealing a violinist's pure heart. The Sailor Scouts, along with Uranus and Neptune, confront Octave, ultimately defeating her. Uranus and Neptune return the pure heart, realizing it's not one of the three crystals they seek. On Usagi's birthday, she hopes Mamoru will buy her glass slippers. However, he forgets it's her birthday, leading to a tearful encounter. Seriously, man, you had one job! Haruka and Michiru console Usagi, hinting at her pure heart. The girls surprise Usagi with a birthday party, and Kaolinite, aware of Usagi's heart purity, targets her. Meanwhile, Mamoru, learning about Usagi's birthday, rushes to buy her the slippers. The gift is infused with a diamond egg, unleashing chaos when Usagi tries them on. Tuxedo Mask intervenes, but Kaolin Knight threatens to destroy Usagi's brooch. Uranus contemplates seizing the talisman despite Usagi's life being at stake. And now, Tuxedo Mask is trapped, Usagi is under threat, and the Sailor Scouts are on their way. Quite the birthday you had, Usagi! Usagi faces a dire situation as Kaolin Knight steals her brooch and freezes Tuxedo Mask. Hitching a ride with Haruka and Michiru, Usagi contemplates sacrificing herself to save Tuxedo Mask. At Tokyo Tower, she offers Pure Heart Crystal, but Uranus and Neptune intervene, revealing it's not a talisman. Kaolinite, determined to kill Usagi, is swayed by Sailor Venus's deception. Luna retrieves the brooch, and Sailor Moon defeats Senesienta. In a subsequent battle, Uranus is injured, and Kaolinite gains Senesienta's powers. Despite their efforts, only Uranus, moved by Sailor Moon's resolve, defeats Kaolinite. At the shrine, Usagi and Mamoru share a moment, unaware of the looming threat of Udile. 
Following Kayla Knight's defeat, Dr. Tomo introduces the Witches 5, starting with Udial. Dr. Tomo uses the Heart Snatcher Oven to create diamonds, and Udial, with her unique car, Soya, heads to her target. Meanwhile, the Sailor Guardians, preoccupied with festival preparations, encounter Udial. She extracts a heart crystal, prompting Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars to intervene. Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune, realizing the crystal isn't a talisman, withdraw, and Udial retreats, leaving Soya to confront the Sailor Guardians. Unexpectedly, Sailor Chibi Moon appears, aiding in defeating Soya. Later, Chibiusa reveals her return from the future to train with the present-day Sailor Guardians, leading to her usual bickering with Usagi during fireworks. She hasn't changed much at all. After a challenging battle against the formidable Diamond Islander, Sailor Jupiter, feeling a blow to her pride, seeks training at a mountain retreat under Master Kakusui Yakushiji. Meanwhile, Yujiu targets Kakusui, planning to collect pure heart crystals for the Purity Chalice. Serena, Amy, Ray, and Mina visit the retreat while Serena secretly hopes to see Darian working at a hotel there. Yujiu arrives, extracting Kakusui's pure heart. The Sailor Guardians, joined by Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune, confront Yujiu, who realizes she snatched the wrong pure heart. Facing the Diamond Daruma, Sailor Jupiter, fueled by Kakusui's teachings, delivers a powerful sparkling wide pressure, defeating the creature and saving Kakusui's pure heart. Yujiu targets Runner, Elsa Grey, and Dr. Tomo creates the Diamond Hurdler from a racing sign. Elsa, recalling a past race with Amara, faces Yujiu's attack, leading the Sailor Scouts to transform and intervene. Hurdler traps the Scouts with threads and extracts Elsa's pure heart. Amara, reminiscing about a pivotal moment when she encountered a trapped child within a monster, reflects on her transformation into Sailor Uranus. In the present, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune join the battle, retrieving Elsa's pure heart and aiding in Hurdler's defeat. Sailor Moon's Moon Spiral heart attack vanquishes the diamond, and Elsa's pure heart is returned, lacking the sought-after power. Amidst their studies, the Sailor Guardians discuss the pain of losing their pure heart crystals to diamonds. Miniko, feeling left out, questions the purity of her heart. In an attempt to comfort her, Usagi inadvertently triggers a toy machine, filling it with toys that Minako wins. Later, as Yudao targets Miniko, the Sailor Guardians rush to her aid. Yudao wounds Miniko, revealing her pure heart crystal. The inner senshi, hindered by an energy drink mishap, struggle against Yudao's doorknobter. Sailor Moon transforms before Haruka and Michiru, and with their help, they thwart Yudao, ensuring Miniko's safety and discovering her heart is not a talisman. Determined to find the talismans, Yudao intensifies her search, targeting Haruka and Michiru at the Marine Cathedral. Suspecting their talisman connection, Haruka and Michiru take Usagi's brooch to prevent interference. Yudao sets a cunning trap, capturing Sailor Neptune and revealing her talisman status. Rushing to aid her, Sailor Uranus falls victim to another trap, severely injured. Discovering Uranus is also a talisman holder, Yudao aims to extract her heart. Sailor Neptune sacrifices her talisman to save Uranus. Usagi intervenes, preventing Yudao from seizing Uranus's talisman. In a surprising turn, Uranus transforms her talisman into a sword, entrusting Usagi with her mission. The inner Sailor Guardians, along with Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Chibi Moon, confront Yudao after she extracts the talismans from Uranus and Neptune, trapping the team in a fiery room. Sailor Chibi Moon extinguishes the flames and Yudao flees, attempting to immobilize the inner guardians with glue. Sailor Moon's Moon Spiral Heart Attack fails against Yudao's weapon, but Sailor Pluto, revealed as the third talisman holder, arrives. Summoning the talisman, Sailor Pluto separates the pure hearts, creating the Holy Grail. In a race with Yudao, Super Sailor Moon emerges victorious, deflecting Yudao's attacks. Mimit sabotages Yudao's escape, leading to a fatal car crash. Exhausted, Sailor Moon collapses, prompting the Outers to doubt her as the Messiah and continue their search. Under the influence of the Sovereign of Silence, Dr. Tomo, Hotaru's father, plans to harvest pure hearts for her consumption. Mimit selects movie star Joshua Ida as the next target, creating the Diamond Western. During the movie filming, Chibiusa encounters Hotaru, who exhibits signs of distress. Mimit's attempt to exploit a love triangle between Joshua and his co-star backfires when Western, the Daimon, is unleashed. Sailor Moon's initial attack fails and Western absorbs Joshua's pure heart. Mimit's attempt to use Chibiusa as leverage is thwarted by Sailor Pluto and Super Sailor Moon ultimately defeats Western, restoring Joshua's pure heart. 
Usagi and Chibiusa share a bath, and Chibiusa introduces her new friend Hotaru Tamo, sparking jealousy in Usagi. Meanwhile, the outer sailor Senshi, Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna confront Tuxedo Mask, refusing to work with Sailor Moon due to their responsibility for the Death Buster's intrusion. The inner sailor guardians search for Chibiusa, discovering her efforts to impress Hotaru. At the Tomo residence, Usagi meets Chibiusa, Professor Tomo's assistant, who introduces her to Hotaru, Tomo's daughter. The visit takes an eerie turn as Hotaru exhibits strange behavior and reveals her fascination with Usagi's transformation brooch. Sailor Pluto intervenes in a Daimon battle, signaling the return of the outer sailor Senshi to face the Death Buster's threat. In a poignant encounter, Setsuna and Chibiusa reminisce about their shared memories from the Silver Millennium. Later, when Chibiusa attempts to visit the ailing Hotaru, she's turned away by Kaolinite, but Hotaru, against orders, pursues her frail friend. A seizure interrupts their meeting, prompting Usagi and Ami to take Hotaru to Ami's mother's hospital. Flashbacks unveil Hotaru's troubled past, marked by an uncontrollable dark force within her. Haruka arrives, offering the girls a ride, just as Mamit targets a celebrity's pure heart. Chibiusa and Uranus confront the Daimon, while Hotaru grapples with another seizure. Despite the mysterious power within Hotaru, the inner sailor Senshi supports Chibiusa's determination to befriend her. Tuxedo Mask reveals the existence of the powerful outer sailor scouts, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto to Usagi and her friends. Hotaru, now on friendlier terms with Chibiusa, decides to write a letter to athlete Sean Hayes. In an unexpected twist, Mimit, a Death Busters member and fan of Sean, targets him next. At the stadium, Usagi, Chibiusa, and Hotaru encounter resistance from Sean's guards. Mimit releases the Daimon Undokai, leading to a chaotic confrontation. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon face challenges, but ultimately, with Hotaru's assistance, defeat Undokai. Hotaru's powers prove crucial as she helps Sean, who goes on to achieve another record after the battle. Rei experiences a vision of the Sovereign of Silence foretelling destruction. The group plans to attend a planetarium eclipse show narrated by DJ Thomas Harris, with Hotaru joining them. Amara, Michelle, and Trista suspect Hotaru is the Sovereign of Silence and witness Rei's vision through Trista's crystal ball. Mimit targets Thomas for his pure heart, unleashing the Diamond Uchitan. Trista reveals their mission to protect against the silence and explains the impending revelation during Saturn's eclipse. Uchitin attacks, attempting to hasten the eclipse. Super Sailor Moon intervenes, defeating Uchitin. The Outer Scouts disclose Hotaru as Sailor Saturn, warning of her potential world-ending power. Hotaru vanishes and Tomo relishes the unfolding chaos. After Hotaru mysteriously disappears, Chibiusa suspects Trista's involvement and confronts her, but Trista denies any part in Hotaru's absence. Darian discovers Dr. Tomo's connection to Mugen School, prompting a visit with Chibiusa and Trista. Meanwhile, Mimit targets physicist Dr. Sergei Ajimov, but Tomo redirects the task to Telu, causing Mimit to deceive her. In an unexpected turn, Telu learns of Mimit's betrayal, and when Mimit activates a power boosting machine during a confrontation with the Sailor Scouts, Telu seizes the opportunity to eliminate Mimit. Unveiling the consequences of the machine's shutdown, Tulu seals Mamit in the display unit, leaving the scouts perplexed by the witch's internal discord. Professor Tomo receives instructions from the Messiah of Silence to gather more crystal hearts. He contacts Tulu, the third witch, who introduces a new strategy involving Telens, special plants sold in a new shop. Setsuna, suspicious of these plants, investigates. Chibiusa, trying to find Hotaru, receives a Telen from her. Hotaru, under Kaola Knight's control, abducts her. Setsuna saves Chibiusa from a hostile Telen and later joins forces with Usagi. Together, they confront Telu in the Telen shop. Telu traps people, extracting pure heart crystals. Sailor Moon, Sailor Chibi Moon, and Sailor Pluto face Telu, who is defeated with the help of Tuxedo Mask. The Senshi discover Telu's Mugen student ID, strengthening their belief that Mugen is linked to the Death Busters. Amy, tying with Julie Bido in an exam, discovers that the next test will be held at Mugen School. Unbeknownst to her, Julie is actually by Ruit, the fourth of the Witches Five, using a nanocuff to control her nano machines. By Ruit initiates her plan, exploiting Mugen School's structure to extract pure hearts by connecting to her master computer. Meanwhile, Amara and Michelle infiltrate Mugen School's basement, discovering Hotaru under the influence of the Sovereign of Silence. Amy tries to warn them about Hotaru, but they remain unconvinced. 
Pyruid attacks Amara and Michelle with nanomachine infused energy, and Amy, transforming into Sailor Mercury, intervenes. The other Sailor Scouts join the battle, and together they defeat Pyruid, freeing the captured pure hearts. The Sovereign of Silence vows that the conflict has only just begun, relocating her throne and disappearing from the Scouts' reach. In the climactic showdown, the final witch Cyprene uses her powers to bring victims to Mugen Academy and steal their pure heart crystals. The inner sends she confront her, but Cyprene, spotting them, transports them to her office. The Sailor Guardians face a tough battle against Cyprene, who is later revealed to be twinned with Talal, forming the ultimate witch. The Senshi find themselves trapped in a dimension battling both witches, but strategic thinking from Sailor Mercury turns the tide. Meanwhile, Kaelinite captures Chibiusa, leading to a dark ritual at Mugen Academy. As Chibiusa's pure heart crystal is consumed by the Messiah of Silence, she transforms into the powerful Mistress Nine. The inner and outer Senshi face the dilemma of saving Chibiusa by defeating Mistress Nine, even if it means harming Hotaru. In a dire situation surrounded by numerous monsters, the Sailor Soldiers attempt to teleport inside Mugen Academy's heart. Sensing the Holy Grail nearby, Mistress Nine cunningly disguises herself as Hotaru to deceive Sailor Moon, claiming that Hotaru's consciousness has returned. Meanwhile, Sailors Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto arrive in a helicopter but face an attack by Daimon. In a daring move, Sailor Pluto employs her forbidden time-freezing ability to ensure the survival of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Mistress Nine, disguised as Hotaru, attempts to manipulate Sailor Moon into surrendering the Holy Grail, tricking her into summoning Pharaoh 90 to Earth. Despite warnings from Sailor Uranus and Neptune, Sailor Moon falls into the trap. However, the real Hotaru regains consciousness, rejects Mistress Nine, and transforms into Sailor Saturn. In a poignant moment, she destroys Mistress Nine and returns Chibiusa's pure heart crystal. Sailor Saturn, acknowledging Sailor Moon's efforts, decides to sacrifice herself to destroy Pharaoh 90. Despite objections, she enters the core alone. As Sailor Moon struggles, the collective power of the other six Sailor Senshi aids her transformation into Super Sailor Moon. In the final act, Super Sailor Moon defeats Pharaoh 90 and emerges weakened but holding a newborn baby, Hotaru saved. After Super Sailor Moon saves infant Hotaru, she is left gravely weakened. Sailor Uranus and Neptune support her and the inner Senshi arrive to help. Haruka and Michiru, caring for Hotaru, return her to Professor Tomo. Chibiusa learns about the internal struggle within Hotaru, with Sailor Saturn emerging victorious. Sailor Pluto appears in a vision explaining the situation. At Mugen's Academy's destroyed site, Haruka and Michiru confront Usagi, angered by her choices. Usagi faces them alone, transforming into Sailor Moon and defeating Uranus and Neptune. They apologize, acknowledging her as Neo Queen Serenity, marking a resolution in their complex dynamics. Chibiusa receives a letter from her mother through a pink spiral cloud, prompting her decision to return to the future. Misinterpreting the farewell party organized by Serena and the others as an eagerness to be rid of her, Darian reassures Chibiusa of their genuine care. Meanwhile, a surviving diamond fuses with the heart snatcher oven at the Mugen School ruins, becoming Ranji, seeking pure hearts. After Chibiusa's departure, the group learns of Ranji's threat and transforms to confront her. Despite initial struggles, Sailor Mini Moon returns, contributing to Ranji's defeat alongside Sailor Moon. The Heart Snatcher oven is destroyed, marking the end of the Heart Snatchers and Daimons. And guess what? Sailor Mini Moon is here to stay. Chibiusa experiences a dream featuring a winged unicorn, Pegasus, who instructs her to keep the encounter a secret. Meanwhile, Serena, Amy, Ray, Lita, Mina, Darian, Chibiusa, Andrew, and Elizabeth gather to witness an eclipse, only to witness the sudden appearance of the malevolent Dark Moon Circus. Led by the sinister Zirconia, the circus unveils the Amazon Trio, Tiger's Eye, Hawk's Eye, and Fish Eye, with a mission to capture Pegasus, who can currently exist only in dreams. Targeting Elizabeth, the trio summons Autodal Karakuriko to confront Sailor Moon, Sailor Mini Moon, and Tuxedo Mask. Despite facing challenges, Pegasus intervenes, transforming the Sailor Guardians into Super Sailors and defeating Karakuriko. As the threat of the Dark Moon Circus looms, the Sailor Guardians recognize Pegasus as a new adversary. Chibiusa receives guidance from Pegasus in her dreams, with him encouraging her to call upon him whenever needed. Meanwhile, the Amazon trio targets Serena's mother, and Hawk's Eye, posing as a lost son, extracts her dream mirror. Serena and Chibiusa transform into Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon to confront him. In the ensuing battle, Pegasus empowers them with new transformations into Super Sailors and provides upgraded wands. 
Sailor Mini Moon summons Pegasus, enabling Sailor Moon to deploy Moon Gorgeous Meditation and defeat the Remless, saving Mrs. Stukino. Luna teases Artemis for supposedly falling in love with a sister at first church, leading to a misunderstanding. Darian and Artemis encounter a talking kitten named Diana with a crescent moon on her forehead, claiming Artemis as her daddy. Luna believing Artemis has fallen for a woman and has a daughter scratches him. Tiger's Eye targets the sister, but Artemis intervenes, scratching Tiger's Eye. Sailor Venus faces the remless Kigura Miko, unable to harm her without harming Artemis. Diana reveals herself as Luna and Artemis' future daughter and Chibiusa's companion. Sailor Moon, aided by Pegasus, defeats Kigura Miko with Moon Gorgeous Meditation. Artemis clarifies his innocent admiration for the chapel. Tiger's Eye hatches a plan to corrupt the holder of Pegasus by using a remless named Tebihanabiko, who can enter a person's heart through the shadow of something they possess. Chibiusa in her art class draws Pegasus in her landscape, but her teacher disapproves, affecting her grade. Miss Marino, Chibiusa's teacher, becomes the Amazon Trio's next target. Tiger's Eye traps and extracts her dream mirror, but fails to find Pegasus in her dreams. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon confront Tiger's Eye, and during the battle, Heavy Hanabiko enters Pegasus, turning him to stone. Sailor Mini Moon summons Pegasus, who awakens and destroys Heavy Hanabiko. In the end, Pegasus communicates with Chibiusa through the Dream Globe, ensuring they can talk anytime. While driving, a man encounters the magical Pegasus, causing a crash. At Chibiusa's school, everyone admires Robert, but he's smitten with Chibiusa, who gets asked out by him. Meanwhile, Serena hears about Pegasus supposedly attacking people. The Amazon trio sets their sights on Robert, with Fisheye deciding to pursue him. At a soccer field, Fisheye extracts Robert's dream mirror, and when she can't find Pegasus in it, she prepares to harm him. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon intervene, summoning Pegasus, but a remless Dane Mawashitaro creates chaos. The other Sailor Scouts join forces, ultimately trusting Pegasus, who transforms them into Super Sailors. They defeat Mawashitaro and save the day. Chibiusa, however, rejects Robert, professing her love for Pegasus. Zirconia, frustrated with the Amazon Trio's failures, targets Darien as their next victim, with Fisheye assigned to pursue him. While attempting to exploit Darien's dreams, Fisheye finds herself strangely affected when he tends to her injured hand. Jealousy brews within Serena as Fisheye professes to be her rival for Darien's affection. In a mysterious twist, shadowy figures hint at the Amazon Trio's hidden origins and the urgency imposed by their queen, Nehalenia. Despite Fisheye's initial plan to extract Darien's dream mirror, an unexpected turn of events leaves her questioning her own feelings and sparing him. After Serena invites Fisheye into her room, she inadvertently reveals her identity as Sailor Moon. Discovering Chibiusa is the holder of Pegasus, Fisheye informs Zirconia, questioning the truth behind their quest for human forms. Zirconia, feeling threatened, attacks her. Meanwhile, Hawkseye targets Serena, extracting her dream mirror. The arrival of Mr. Magic Piro, a menacing Remless, forces Fisheye and Tiger's Eye to sacrifice their powers to revive Serena's shattered dream mirror. In a selfless act, Hawk's Eye takes a fatal blow for Fisheye. Serena, realizing Fisheye's envy for her dreams, transforms into Sailor Moon, aided by Pegasus, defeating Mr. Magic Piero. The trio reverts to their animal forms before Pegasus grants them a renewed chance at life in a crystal forest. Queen Nehalenia, imprisoned in a mirror, instructs Zirconia to seek the golden dream mirror of Elysion held by the one with Pegasus. The mysterious Amazon Quartet, disguised as circus performers, introduces themselves to Zirconia and plots to run the Dark Moon Circus independently. Zirconia warns them against rebellion, and they target Melanie for her dream mirror. Besu Besu extracts Melanie's mirror, but it's not a golden one. The Sailor Scouts intervene, and after a skirmish with the Remless Gara Gara, Sailor Moon, aided by Pegasus, defeats it and returns Melanie's dream mirror. The Helenia, despite Zirconia's doubts, advises against destroying the quartet. Para Para, a member of the Amazon Quartet, extracts dream mirrors from several individuals, yet none possess the coveted golden dream mirror. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon intervene, expressing whimsical desires that Para Para playfully fulfills by swapping their ages. Meanwhile, Pegasus is inaccessible to Chibiusa's calls, prompting him to reveal his true identity as Helios, the Guardian of Dreams. He discloses the invasion of Elysian, the Dream World. He discloses the invasion of Elysion, the dream world, by the Dark Moon Circus in pursuit of the Golden Crystal. Pegasus, once its possessor, was imprisoned by Queen Nehalenia but transformed by Chibiusa's dreamlight into his current state. Returning Chibiusa to her true age, Pegasus, or Helios, confronts the threat to Elysion. Para Para continues extracting mirrors until Sailor Moon, aided by Pegasus, defeats the Remless Parapero. 
Zirconia instructs the Amazon Quartet to search the coming-of-age ceremony for the elusive Golden Mirror. Serena, Amy, Ray, Lita, Mina, and Chibiusa volunteer at the event, unaware of the Amazon Quartet's true identity. The Quartet, in human guise, initially enjoys the ceremony but later reveals their true forms during the event. They express a reluctance to grow up, fearing the loss of dreams associated with adulthood. Transforming, they summon a Remless named Biribiri to extract dream mirrors. However, none are the coveted Golden Mirror. The Sailor Scouts intervene, engaging the Amazon Quartet in battle. Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Mini Moon summon Pegasus, leading to Sailor Moon's victory over Beery Beery. All the Dream Mirrors are restored as the Amazon Quartet retreats. Queen Helenia, growing impatient and unable to escape her mirror due to light, decides to envelop the world in darkness. Mysterious spider webs appear, causing Darien distress. The world darkens and Pegasus, fearing the evil forces tracking him, departs, leaving Chibiusa to find the one who can awaken the Golden Crystal. Amy traces the darkness to the Dark Moon Circus tent, where the Amazon Quartet, now aware of the Sailor Scouts' identities, extracts dream mirrors. The Sailor Scouts confront them, engaging in battle until Tuxedo Mask intervenes. Zirconia recalls the Quartet, hinting at a significant upcoming event. As the Dark Moon obscures the sun, Pegasus warns against approaching it. Pegasus, now revealed as Helios, explains that Nehelenia's awakening was facilitated by the abandonment of dreams. The Golden Crystal, his horn, possesses the power to save or destroy the world. Despite Chibiusa's dreamlight awakening him, she isn't the one who can unlock the crystal's power. Darien's pain signifies the Earth's suffocation by Nehelenia, and Pegasus remains behind as the Sailor Scouts venture to thwart the Dark Moon Circus. In the circus, they confront the Amazon Quartet and encounter Remless envoys. The Quartet leads them to Nehelenia's mirror, where a fierce battle ensues. The Crystal Chime aids Sailor Mini Moon, who summons Pegasus. The confrontation intensifies, leading to the revelation that Mini Moon holds the Golden Mirror. Zirconia seizes the opportunity to extract it, but fails when Mini Moon reclaims it. In a shocking turn, Zirconia traps Mini Moon inside Nehelenia's mirror, signaling a perilous situation for Chibiusa. Meanwhile, Darien senses the impending danger. Trapped within the mirror, Sailor Mini Moon confronts Helios, and Queen Helenia reveals her envy for the Moon Kingdom and her failed attempt to seize the Golden Crystal from Helios. As her evil intentions triggered a counterattack, she imprisoned Helios and was subsequently trapped in a mirror by Queen Serenity. Nehelenia used the Solar Eclipse to unleash evil forces on Earth. Instructed by Nehelenia, Zirconia orders the destruction of the Sailor Scouts. The Amazon Quartet, for amusement, creates a doll resembling Sailor Mini Moon and swaps it with her. Inside a funhouse filled with mirrors, the Sailor Scouts resist Draconia's tricks and Sailor Moon destroys the illusions of Moon Tiara magic. Meanwhile, the Amazon Quartet's loyalty wavers as they sense their allegiance crumbling in another dimension. Trapped in another dimension, the Amazon Quartet recalls their encounter with Queen Nehelenia in a forest, where they received orbs imbued with her power, granting eternal youth. Within Nehelenia's mirror, Sailor Mini Moon faces torment as Nehelenia extracts the Golden Crystal from her, threatening its destruction unless Pegasus re-enters his body. The Sailor Scouts confront Zirconia, who creates clones leading to Sailor Mercury uncovering the real one and defeating him. Simultaneously, Nehelenia traps Helios and Sailor Mini Moon in threads. As Zirconia attempts to drain the Amazon Quartet's power, Sailor Mercury guides them to break their orbs, freeing them. Nehelenia seizes the Golden Crystal from Helios, dismissing Zirconia, and begins her malevolent quest for world domination. As Queen Nehelenia's circus tends to send to conquer the world, Sailor Mini Moon falls into eternal sleep. In a desperate confrontation, the Sailor Scouts prove powerless against Nehelenia, fueled by the Golden Crystal's might. Simultaneously, Darien hears a call as Helios reveals Elysion's transformation and Nehelenia's possession of the Golden Crystal. Utilizing his last reserves, Helios revives Sailor Mini Moon. Despite the Amazon Quartet's betrayal, they switch the Golden Crystal with a pineapple, diminishing Nehelenia's power. Sailor Mini Moon unites people worldwide, invoking Moon Cosmic Dream Action to rejuvenate the crystal. Empowered, Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon unleash a cosmic beam, vanquishing Nehelenia and dispelling her dark circus tents, saving the world. Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon use the Golden Crystal to defeat Queen Nehelenia, shattering the circus tents. In a final confrontation, Nehelenia ages and seeks revenge. A Zirconia-like creature attacks Sailor Moon but falters due to her compassion. Nehelenia throws Sailor Mini Moon off the circus and Sailor Moon leaps after her. 
Believing she won, Nehalenia renews her youth and departs for the Dark Moon. Sailor Moon transforms into Princess Serena, rescues Sailor Mini Moon, and Helios gives them wings. Nehalenia vanishes forever, leaving Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon safely on the ground. Helios bids farewell, the Amazon Quartet departs, and Chibiusa dreams of meeting Pegasus again. Usagi and her friends are excited about transferring to the same high school, while Chibiusa and Diana prepare to return to the future. Meanwhile, Queen Nehalenia is freed by a mysterious voice and a new threat emerges. Chibiusa opens the space-time door, triggering Nehalenia's rage. She shatters her mirror, creating black dream mirrors that fall on Tokyo. The Sailor Guardians witness a meteor shower but remain unaware of the impending danger. Haruka and Michiru face glass-like minions of Nehalenia, prompting Sailor Pluto's return. Hotaru's power revolves and the trio defeats the Peredri. In the park, Mamoru's eye pain intensifies as he sees visions of Queen Nehalenia in reflective surfaces. Meanwhile, Hotaru, now five years old, has a vision of the moon in danger and faints after revealing the vision to Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna. The Sailor Guardians face Mira Peredri, minions of Nehalenia, who overwhelm them until the outer Super Sailor Guardians and Super Sailor Saturn join the battle. Saturn's awakening leads to the evolution of Sailor Moon's powers. With the Moon Kaleidoscope upgraded to Eternal Tiara, Sailor Moon defeats the Mira Peredri but reverts to her original form, weakened. As Mamoru succumbs to Nehalenia's control through reflections, Usagi faces the threat to those she loves. In the town, girls under the influence of Queen Nehalenia gaze at their reflections, mirroring the upcoming threat. Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna learn about a mysterious disease and glass monsters. Meanwhile, Usagi discovers Mamoru's odd behavior and mirrors influence on him. At the Hikawa Shrine, Hotaru warns of evil wishes targeting Usagi, urging protection for her and Mamoru. The Sailor Senshi unite to face Nehalenia's minions at Mamoru's apartment. Inside, they find Mamoru entrapped in mirrors and confront Nehalenia, who reveals her revenge for her past imprisonment. As Nehalenia takes Mamoru to her castle, Usagi, weakened by her transformation, faces a race against time to save him from nightmares by dawn. Despite the looming danger, Usagi resolves to rescue both Mamoru and Shibuyusa. Ascending to the sky, she confronts Nihalenia in an unknown dimension, while the other Senshi utilize Sailor Teleport to follow her. Sailor Uranus and Sailor Mercury find themselves in a repeating illusion where Uranus attempts futile attacks. However, Mercury's strategic analysis reveals the illusion's source on the moon. Unveiling the true dimension, they are ambushed by mirror hands leading to their capture in the mirrors. In another part of the Dark Forest, Sailor Neptune and Sailor Mars face Nihalenia's magical trap. A shrinking circle of purple fire. As Nihalenia ensnares Sailor Mars and Sailor Neptune within mirrors and casts a memory erasing curse on Usagi, Sailor Venus and Sailor Pluto traverse a perilous bridge, only to be betrayed by Nihalenia's deception and left hanging over an abyss. Meanwhile, Sailor Jupiter confronts the Queen in Nihalenia's illusory palace, defending Usagi against the Queen's attempts to keep her in a blissful dream. Jupiter's resilience and sacrifice break Usagi free from the spell, revealing a staircase to Nihalenia's castle. The queen, shocked by Usagi's strength, intensifies the challenges, summoning thorny vines. Usagi, injured but determined, faces thorny challenges on her way to Nihalenia's castle. Chibi Moon fades as Nihalenia torments Saturn. Sailor Jupiter's voice influences Nihalenia's attack, allowing Sailor Saturn to unleash Silence Glaive's surprise, missing Nihalenia but restraining Saturn. Chibi Moon collapses, Usagi reaches the castle, and Nihalenia traps the Guardians in mirrors. Chibi Moon fades away, and Nihalenia reveals her lonely past, blaming Usagi. Usagi's empathy breaks Nihalenia's aggression, Mamoru's tear shatters the dark mirror, and the Guardians, including Chibi Moon, are freed. Usagi, now eternal Sailor Moon, cleanses the new moon, helping Nihalenia remember her childhood dream. As the castle crumbles, Nihalenia is reborn with her retainers. Earth celebrates a new morning, but distant laughter hints at a looming threat. The day takes a tumultuous turn for Usagi and her friends as they discover the popular Three Lights Band. Usagi, distressed by Mamoru's imminent departure, receives a ring from him at the airport. However, an attack in outer space by Sailor Iron Mouse leads to an explosion impacting Mamoru's plane. The Three Lights make a memorable entrance at the park, and Usagi, attempting to get a closer look, encounters Seiya, who recognizes her from the airport. Meanwhile, Sailor Iron Mouse reveals herself, extracting a starseed from actress Alice Utsuki, transforming her into Sailor Burry. 
Eternal Sailor Moon intervenes and three mysterious Sailor Senshi, the Starlights, assist her in restoring the Starseed's brilliance. Usagi immerses herself in the manga club, passionately sketching at Fruit's parlor crown. Her friends pursue various school clubs, Miniko in volleyball, Ami in the computer lab, and Mikado in athletics. Feeling lonely, Usagi encounters Seiya, leading to a heated exchange. The three lights join Jubin High School, sparking excitement especially for Rei and Mikado. Seiya's athleticism in basketball and American football stands out. Sailor Iron Mouse targets football player Yuki Kayama, prompting Sailor Moon, aided by Sailor Jupiter and the Inner Guardians, to intervene. The mysterious Sailor Starlights briefly appear, intriguing the inner Senshi. Despite tensions, Usagi secretly channels her emotions into manga, surprising her friends with her hidden talent. Usagi and friends try to get tickets for the Three Lights International Music Festival, but find them sold out. Haruka and Michiru, with extra tickets from a joint concert, offer them. Sailor Iron Mouse, reprimanded by Galaxia, targets a musician for a true star seed. The Three Lights, including Seiya, have mixed feelings about the joint concert with Michiru. Seiya and Michiru's encounter sparks jealousy in Haruka. Sailor Moon intervenes as Iron Mouse attacks a musician, leading to a confrontation with the phage Sailor Conductor. The Sailor Starlights help defeat the phage, but are interrupted by Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune, who see them as enemies. Despite tension, Seiya and Usagi share a moment in the end. Seiya and Usagi enjoy a romantic date at an amusement park, dancing and exploring attractions. Amid the romance, Sailor Iron Mouse targets Seiya for his starseed. During the date, Seiya transforms into Sailor Starfighter to confront the threat. Eternal Sailor Moon arrives, noticing Seiya's pin on the ground and raising questions about his disappearance. Iron Mouse, having witnessed Seiya's transformation, threatens to expose his identity. Before she can do so, Sailor Galaxia, the formidable leader of the Sailor Anima Mates, makes a dramatic entrance. Galaxia removes Iron Mouse's bracelets, leading to her demise. The founding member of the Three Lights fan club challenges Usagi to a softball game, linking her association with Seiya to the outcome. After Seiya trains Usagi, the game commences, but Sailor Lead Crow intervenes by attacking the opposing team's captain. Usagi transforms into Eternal Sailor Moon to save her, attracting the attention of Sailor Aluminum Siren, who believes Usagi possesses the true star seed. In the midst of the chaos, Chibi Chibi appears as a Sailor Guardian, granting Eternal Sailor Moon a new power. With this enhanced ability, she performs the Silver Moon Crystal Power Kiss, defeating the phage created by Siren. Despite the challenges, Usagi ultimately makes the game-winning catch, securing her continued association with Seiya. Ami, Rei, Mikado, and Miniko secure tickets for a fan club flight with the three lights, leaving Usagi feeling left out. As she walks home, she discovers a letter addressed to Eternal Sailor Moon from Sailor Aluminum Siren, revealing that the flight is a trap. Recognizing the danger, Usagi is determined to rescue her friends. The situation forces the Inner Guardians and the Three Lights to unveil their secret identities to each other. In the unfolding event, Sailor Aluminum Siren is killed for her failure to identify a genuine starseed. Usagi finds herself torn between her connections to the Three Lights as both friends and fellow guardians. Yaten and Taki advise Seiya to distance himself from Usagi. Meanwhile, a local DJ is transformed into a phage, prompting Eternal Sailor Moon to confront and defeat the threat. However, Sailor Tin Yanko intervenes with a surprise attack using a paw-shaped blaster. In a selfless act, Seiya shields Eternal Sailor Moon from the blast, enduring considerable pain. The situation escalates when Sailor Star Healer and Sailor Star Maker arrive, delivering a harsh message for the Super Sailor Guardians to keep their distance. The Outer Guardians join forces with the Sailor Starlights, leading to a revelation of their true identities to one another. Amidst the growing tension, Seiya decides to cut ties with Usagi, causing emotional turmoil. However, Seiya secretly extends an invitation to Usagi for an upcoming concert, where his song unfolds the tragic history of their homeworld, Kinmoku. The Starlights share the devastating impact of Galaxia's destruction, revealing their quest to find their escaped princess through the power of their music. However, Seiya, still grappling with the aftermath of his previous injury, collapses from exhaustion after pouring his heart into the performance. As preparations for the school festival unfold, Usagi invites Seiya over, prompting interference from Yaten and Taiki. The Starlights discover Chibi Chibi possesses their princess's incense burner. 
Sailor Lead Crow, armed with Sailor Aluminum Siren's diary, exposes Usagi and her friends as Sailor Guardians during the festival. Threatening bystanders with a black hole, Sailor Lead Crow forces Usagi to surrender her Silver Star Seed. However, Sailor Tinyanko intervenes, resulting in Lead Crow's demise as she is sucked into a black hole. Usagi and Chibi Chibi are also swallowed, but Chibi Chibi's incense burner annihilates the black hole, revealing the long lost princess in the arms of the Starlights. Princess Kakyu unveils her mission to Earth to locate the almighty Light of Hope capable of thwarting Galaxia's plans for universal chaos. The Sailor Guardians intensify their protective efforts around Usagi while she endeavors to reach Mamoru, growing increasingly anxious. A rooftop confrontation unfolds as Sailor Tinyanko targets Usagi, leading to a powerful counterattack by Eternal Sailor Moon. The force of the blow causes Tinyanko's golden bracelet to detach, transforming one side of her into a white form. Overwhelmed by the absence of Mamoru, Usagi collapses in despair, finding solace in Seiya's comforting presence. With their long-lost princess found, the three lights decide to disband, culminating in their farewell concert. Rei discovers that Mamoru never reached America, raising concerns among the Sailor Guardians. Usagi confides in Seiya, admitting their relationship is one-sided, a sentiment he reciprocates. During the final concert, Sailor Tinyanko attacks but struggles with internal conflict. Galaxy intervenes, eliminating Tinyanko and seizing Princess Kaku's starseed, who sacrifices herself to protect the others. With Princess Kaku's starseed seized, Galaxia launches an assault on Earth, extracting the starseeds of countless innocents. The Sailor Starlights, seeking vengeance for their princess, confront Galaxia, drawing the attention of the Sailor Guardians. In a tragic turn, Galaxia claims the starseeds of the Inner Guardians, resulting in their demise. As Galaxia amasses a collection of starseeds, Eternal Sailor Moon discerns one belonging to Mamoru among them, intensifying the emotional toll of the unfolding cosmic conflict. Eternal Sailor Moon discovers that Galaxia seized Mamoru's golden starseed earlier, contradicting his supposed journey to America. It is revealed that Galaxia orchestrated Queen Yelena's release to catalyze Sailor Saturn's awakening as the guardian of death and destruction. Despite their resistance, Galaxia proposes a pact for the remaining Guardians to join her and preserve their lives without forfeiting their starseeds. While Pluto and Saturn resist, Uranus and Neptune betray them, taking Galaxia's bracelets, killing Pluto and Saturn, and acquiring their starseeds in a devastating turn of events. In a desperate confrontation, Eternal Sailor Moon and the Starlights must battle their own betrayed teammates for their very existence. When commanded by Galaxia to surrender their starseeds, the Starlights turn the tables and attack Galaxia, believing her demise would follow once her starseed is extracted. However, Galaxia shocks them by revealing that she has no starseed. In retaliation for Uranus and Neptune's betrayal, Galaxia removes their bracelets, leaving them to face imminent death. Encouraged by the Starlight's Eternal Sailor Moon persists in the fight. A startling revelation follows. Galaxia is the legendary Sailor Guardian who sealed chaos within herself. Galaxia reveals her tragic past in her quest to collect starseeds. The Sailor Starlights join forces to resist Galaxia, sustaining injuries in their valiant efforts. Despite Eternal Sailor Moon's attempts to heal Galaxia, the confrontation takes a devastating turn leading to the apparent defeat of the Starlights and the shattering of Sailor Moon's Silver Crystal. As chaos ensues, Princess Kaku's voice guides the Sailor Guardians, unveiling the truth that Galaxia had sacrificed herself, spreading the light of hope across the galaxy to prevent chaos's resurgence. Chibi Chibi's tear restores Sailor Moon's weakened form, and the awakening light of hope begins to shine, signaling a turning point in the cosmic battle. Chibi Chibi, revealing her true identity, restores Eternal Sailor Moon's starseed and transforms into the mystical Sword of Sealing. She implores Princess Serenity to wield it against Sailor Galaxia. However, Serenity refuses to kill her, convinced there is still kindness within Galaxia. Instead, she uses her powers to heal Galaxia and helps her expel chaos from her body. The Returned Darkness goes back to its rightful place, and all life is restored. Mamoru and Princess Kaku come back to life, bringing immense joy to Usagi and the Starlights. The Starlights and Princess Kaku bid farewell, returning to their home planet. The series concludes with Usagi and Mamoru sharing a kiss beneath a full moon. So that will be it from us. If you enjoyed the video, then leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.